Good evening and welcome to our Christmas Eve service. Our opening hymn this morning, this evening, is O Come All Ye Faithful. We can stand, but we aren't allowed to sing, unfortunately, but the choir is going to sing. I hope we enjoy it.
We light the candle of joy to remind us that God gives joy to every heart that abides in Him. We light the candle of love to remind us that Jesus is God's gift to, of love to us and that in Him the light of love triumphs over darkness. And today we light our white candle, the candle which represents Jesus. It is the center of our wreath, just as Jesus is the center of our lives. God, our hearts sing of joy and praise because of Jesus. At this joyful season, we rejoice as Jesus came among us. Like this earth and life, he assures us that we are your people and that we are greatly loved. Help us to remember Christmas all year long by giving to others the gifts of life. Hope, peace, joy, love, kindness, and understanding. In this is name. Please be seated as we uh, dedicate the credit. Thanksgiving and honor and glory be to you, Almighty God, who for us and for our salvation gave your only Son to be born in great humility by the Virgin Mary, his mother. Accept and bless for our use this Christmas crib, that it may set before us the great love of our Savior. And bring us for the shepherds and kings to pay him our true devotion. To with you and the Holy Spirit belongs all praise and worship, world without end. Amen. Amen. Before we go on to the next part, I intended to go over this with you before the service started, but I just remembered that I didn't. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to sing uh, because we're singing Gloria, the song that the angels sang. Uh, the shepherds, um, but we, but I would like to say what I would like to happen is for this side of the church to be the first verse, the left side or the gospel side, and you come in with the second verse, and then we all do the third verse. Think we can do that? Sure, we can. Please stand as we give praise to God. Sorry. Okay. Together. Sing to God the song of glory, peace he brings to us on earth. Worship we the King of heaven, praise and bless his holy name. Come and worship, come and worship, worship Christ our number one King. Sing to God, our Lord and Savior, seated now at God's right hand. Hear our prayer, O Lord have mercy, you alone the Holy One. Come and worship, come and worship. Worship Christ, our our King. Glory to the Lord, God the Father. Glory to His only Son. Glory to the Holy Spirit. Glory to the Three in One. Come and worship. Come and worship. Worship Christ, our newborn King. Call to the dead. Together, eternal God. This holy night is radiant, the brilliance of your one true light. As we have known the revelation to God on earth, bring us to see the splendor of your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for our readings. <coughs> robed in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. 
For a child has been born to us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the soul of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord hosts will do this. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 96. We'll say it responsibly for the half verse. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all the whole earth. earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations. And his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord. He has borne me here for all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols. But it is the Lord he made the heavens. O oh, the majesty and magnificence of his presence. O oh, the power and the splendor of his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of peoples. Ascribe to the Lord our honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due to his name. Bring offerings and come unto his courts. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations, the Lord is king. He has yes, made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He has judged the people with equity. Let the heavens rejoice, and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the fields be joyful and all that is there. Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord when he comes. When he comes to judge the earth, he will judge the world with righteousness. And the people is the truth. And together we pray. We worship you, God of glory, in the beauty of holiness. And we joyfully proclaim the just and the righteous rule, established for all through your Son, Jesus Christ, the Lord. Those days a decree went out from Caesar and Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration it was taken while Tiberius was governor of Syria, and all went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. She gave birth to her firstborn son, wrapped him in bands of cloth, laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. That region there were shepherds living in the fields, 
keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy, which is what you do all the people. For you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Let's bow our heads and pray. Mighty God, our Heavenly Father, on this glorious night, help us to cherish anew the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. I pray this in his name. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. For to us, a child is born. Uh, Isaiah 9, 6. In a troubled land, long ago, the prophet Isaiah recognized the distress of the people because of foreign forces. Some have been faithful, some have not. But a child was born, perhaps Isaiah's own son. And Isaiah had a glimpse of, from the Lord of another child being born the son of a king. For to us a child is born, proclaimed the prophet. Today, we now live in a troubled land, and the people are distressed by foreign forces. These forces are not armies, but a tiny replicating virus. Some have been faithful today, some have not. But in the birth of a child, Jesus our King, we recognize that God is at work in a new way among us. For to us, a child is born, we proclaim. At the time of the birth of Jesus, as Mary and Joseph were huddled in Bethlehem, some shepherds were nearby. And suddenly an angel, a messenger of the Lord, comes to the shepherds with astonishing news. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. The shepherds were ordinary people, but as God burst into their lives, the shepherds hurry to the manger to worship the newborn king. You and I are a bit like the shepherds, you see. During our lives, we are confronted with the message that the Savior, Christ the Lord, has been born for us. For us, a child is born. Few is born this day, said the angel. And Isaiah prophesied, For to us a child is born. The birth of Jesus Christ is the supreme gift of God for you and for me and for all people. The birth of Jesus is a personal gift to each one of us be received and treasured. How is the birth of Jesus of Nazareth significant to us today? Why do we understand that this birth changes the whole world for all time? 
the birth of Jesus cannot be understood in isolation from his conception, from his ministry and his miracles, to his terrible death, to his new life following his death. And its effect among all of us who dare to believe the promises of God. Jesus Christ is utterly human, but God has clearly worked through Jesus Christ like no other before or since. The birth of Jesus is a tremendous burst of life for the whole world, for everyone. And Jesus' birth is a step toward our new relationship with God. We are changed forever. The angels speaking to the shepherds describe Jesus as the Savior. That means we're saved and restored in our relationship with God. Sin no longer has the same claim on us. We don't need to be fearful of the future, nor of death itself. By the grace of God, something new and glorious awaits us. And we're beginning to see God's glorious full light, just as for the shepherds drew near to Jesus, and they worshipped. There's much more that can be said, but when we see the birth of Jesus not just as an event in the past, but transformational for us today, for each of us, then we are starting to get the picture. And we also celebrate that the birth of Jesus is not an end in itself, but because Christ's nativity ushers in a new era. And the climax is Christ's death and resurrection, as God's kingdom breaks in to this weary world upon us all. If you have no earthly relatives here, there's a church family here. If you can't see your family because of the pandemic, or if you're looking at, the, looking at them through a computer screen, this is not the end of the story. And if you're despondent or anxious, the Lord Jesus invites us to draw near by His Spirit and to lay our burdens at His feet. A child has been born to us and the world will never be the same. May we open our hearts to the Savior's life, His love, and pass it on in turn. Like the shepherds, may we draw near, worship. Amen. Amen. The summary of our faith in Jesus Christ, the, the ancient faiths, invite us to stand. Let us confess our faith in Jesus Christ together as we say, we believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty. Maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen, we believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten to the Father, God from God, God, life from life, true God from true God, the begotten of the name, the one being of the Father, through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, by the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate, virtual, and was made man. For our sake, he was 
crucified and hung on the island. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and was seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, with the Father and the Son, he is worshipped to our Lord God. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostle of the church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we're gathered together, let's not think not only of ourselves, but think of others, especially for those who need God's peace tonight. Let's take time to pray. bidding for today is, hear us, O Lord, and the response is, grant us peace. Lord of the nations, we pray that governments of the world, especially um, the U.S., that we hope will be able to maintain their democracy. And for the 14 countries, Canada being one, who have developed and are going to launch the Webb Telescope, it's more powerful than the Hubble telescope in an effort to learn more about our universe. Guide Elizabeth, our Queen, and this government of Canada that we may live in justice and peace and harmony. Give your heavenly wisdom to all those who are in positions of authority that they may serve in love. Hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. We pray your heavenly blessing upon the city of North Bay and for all who live here, the poor and the rich, the elderly and the young, the men and women. Grant that your grace may be received and known. Help us to recognize your presence in all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. We pray for those who are traveling, for their patience, for those who are ill, whether in mind or body, and especially for Tim and Anne, and Janice, Mary, Lillian, and Denise, and for any others who are on your mind. For those who have a, a special need, or for those who are in trouble, For those who are lonely in this season, Heavenly Father, give them your grace. Strengthen and deliver them. Hear us, O Lord. Lord, Lord grant us peace. We remember all those who have gone before us, who have helped us deepen our faith. Uh, particularly, as we remember um, Ken and John and Cosmo, and any others who are on your mind at this time. Grant that we may follow their good examples as they have been faithful to you. Hear us, O Lord. Lord, grant us peace. Grant this prayer, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate, to whom with thee and the Holy Spirit belongs all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, God always loves us and is always willing to forgive us. He welcomes us as his children and invites us to his table. Let us confess our sins, confident in God's forgiveness. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you and the power of your burden be. Thank you. 
Son, Jesus Christ, and have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may give life in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Invite you to stand. Peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. And although we can't be hugging physically, let's show, let's show that we're reconciled with one another before we come to share with you. may be seated as the band sings the next piece for total. Good. 
the heavenly beings are your messengers night and day. And with them, give glory to you, as we say, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. In these latter days, God leaned toward the earth, spoke to us by his Son, Jesus the Beloved, born of our sister Mary, the Holy Spirit.